All right, well, now let's look at the forecast. Hey, we're up to 68 now, so uh, low 70s, good bet today. It's going to be a nice day. 71 tomorrow, 69 Thursday, again, Friday night into Saturday morning. That is the time frame we're pinpointing for some showers and storms. No pressure, but David's like. I saw the <laughs> tater tots, and the contest is about milk chocolate. I mean, how much sweeter can you get for SA Live? I don't think. Ooh, it starts mm -hmm. right? No. Anybody can go to the store and buy a laptop or a computer. How about making one? Try it Tuesday. That's what I'm going to be doing. See if this can turn out like that, but I missed something. Red velvet cookies, red velvet cookie sandwiches, and red velvet cinnamon rolls. That's right. We're going to tell you about a local bakery that will score you points this Valentine's Day. Hi, my name is Jace Martin, and you're watching SA Live. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. All right, well, can't decide between sweet or savory. Well, you don't have to. A Dua Lipa approved dessert is breaking the internet. The star shared how she likes to top vanilla ice cream with a drizzle of olive oil and sprinkle it with some sea salt Ooh. in the latest food trend that is sweeping TikTok. Okay, so a lot of people weighed in, thought it was gonna be kind of a, a trash, but then it turns out, and they are calling this concoction an elite combination, because mm -hmm. I love olive, and olive oil is very good for you, so think about that. You're kind of, you know, balancing out the ice cream, you know, because it's not, you know, so you get mm -hmm. olive oil on Anything there. Anything so. to make you feel better, yeah. <laughs> sure, because, but those those two flavors, and olive oil does almost have a little bit of a creaminess to it, and that right. little hint of salt in there, so, right. yeah. We have got an order put in for a little mm -hmm. bit of ice cream to be delivered. I've got my olive oil, little you lemon flavor. Your one that. job was the olive oil. What did you bring? It, it is, uh, one, it's a lemon olive oil. Lemon. Lemon, yeah. Kind of lint, so you went rogue. Of, hint of lemon in the olive oil. But that, that actually sounds like it could make it taste even better. With the ice cream there, too. We so. are going to taste that side I in know. a little bit. Can't wait for that. <laughs> All right. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. Okay. Bombay Bicycle Club has been a staple in San Antonio for about 50 years, and they have been serving up great food. Par paired or parred with a great wine or wine bar. Yes. So that too. I'm we thinking about ice cream. <laughs> yes, they now have a second location at Hemisphere with the same great vibes and our Jen Tobias takes us there. Bombay Bicycle Club is a staple in San Antonio. It's been around for 50 years. Today we get to check out the newest location here at Hemisphere. Inside you'll find a collection of pieces from local artists and antiques from around the world. The designer is going for a New York City vibe. And I'm joined now by Dixie, the general manager here at Bombay Bicycle Club. Hi, Dixie. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to see the new location. Yes, we're so excited to be here. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. So tell me about a little bit of the history of Bombay Bicycle Club. So Bombay Bicycle Club has been in San Antonio for about 50 years. Um, we're a long-standing tradition, uh, very much a neighborhood bar over by the zoo on St. Mary's. And our our owner decided to expand downtown. So here we are, yeah. uh, three months in, very excited, um, looking forward to 50 years down here. That's great. <laughs> yeah, so new location, but same great food and, and Definitely. customer service. So let's talk about some Definitely. of the, the fan favorites here. So this is our Pad Thai fries. Um, kind of cool, kind wow. of different, very tasty. <laughs> yes. Got some interesting things going on there. Um, these are our fish tacos. This is a new item on our menu. Um, super tasty as amazing. well. They yes. are amazing. We're selling a lot of these. Yeah, because there's some jalapeno on there too. <laughs> yes, and there pickle. is. Something pickled. Chipotle uh -huh. mayo that we make oh, in-house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. With the salad. And very a nice. special little seasoning that we're putting on there. Nice. And then this is, we're known for our burgers. This is wow. our ABC burger. Avocado. Yeah. Bacon, cheddar cheese. Oh, yes. Cheddar, <laughs> you're speaking my language there. Cheddar cheese, look at that. That's amazing. Wow, awesome. And then what's your favorite thing on the menu? 
It's not here. <laughs> My very favorite thing on the menu is our honey um, buffalo chicken sandwich. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's too. amazing. Yes, it sounds so good. And You'll have to come in and try yes, it. Yes, yes, we'll come back around. But it's not just the food. Obviously, we have right. some drinks to wash it down, too. We so. are a bar with uh -huh. great food. All right. Well, yep. I guess we'll go check out the drinks next. Let's do it. Now I see these gorgeous drinks. Tell me about what you have. These are February drinks. Right? Yes, so these are going to be our special lineup for February, starting February 1st through sleep year, February 29th. Oh, it is. So this is our Love Potion 75. It's a take on the French 75. We use the Empress Gin Indigo. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Yes, very good. This is the Texas Sweet Tart. It uses oh. Rebecca Creek whiskey, so we're trying to stay local. Don't mind me. Very dry, tasty, January. nice little <laughs> sugar rim, mm. super refreshing and kind of sweet Ooh, and tart. Yeah, I taste the tart, I love that. And then this one is Cupid's Berries and Cream. Look at that. Yes, and so it's got some chocolate in there and then we Ooh. use the white chocolate and the creme de cassis mm. and some half and half. It's kind of dessert in a cup. Oh, that is good. Cool. Yes, it's a nice way yes. to finish. Nice way to finish, exactly. I'm glad we started here <laughs> and then made our way there. Before dinner, during yeah. dinner, after. There you dinner. go. All there you go. The food, right there. You <laughs> yes. Go. All right. And then you have a drink that's also served all year long, which you have quite a few. So Celeste right. here, what is she going to make? She's going to make our devil water margarita. And so we do a pepper infused tequila using serranos and bell peppers. And we, uh, we steep that for 24 hours. We add some lemon and sugar to it. And that makes our devil water. And then we do our own fresh salad mix and that's what we use in our uh, rocks margaritas so this is our devil water margarita and then throw a lime on it and we're good to go there we go look at that delicious burger and if you come on a Tuesday you can get a deal for one of these burgers right so our cheeseburger uh -huh. is $5.95 on Tuesdays you can upgrade it to the ABC but $5.95 for a cheeseburger and fries I mean five no to ten p.m. That. yes nope, it's and fantastic happy hour as well Monday through Friday 4 to 7 p.m. we've got some great deals including bean and cheese nachos right? yes for six dollars you can't beat that cheers to that Dixie cheers. thank you for having me you're welcome. Thanks for coming by. And for more information, you can head to our website, salive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Or scan that QR code on your screen. I'm going to take a drink, and then we're going to eat. Right, Dixie? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Mm, yum. This is my favorite new drink right here. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. You're awesome. All right, let's dig it. Okay, mm -hmm. thinking about what I'll do for dinner tonight, mm -hmm. Five ninety-five wow. burger and fries. Oh, also... What would you pay for that? You know, no, I got an extra on that deal. I'm going to spit this out here. Free parking downtown, too. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. So you it's, a, it's a double whammy. Yes. You know what else is sweet? How about this? Okay. So we were talking earlier how Dua Lipa uh, is breaking the internet because she puts olive oil on her vanilla ice cream with a sprinkle of sea salt, okay, and says that okay. it is incredibly addicting. And people who... A little bit of olive oil. Heard about on there. it, thought, okay, there's no way this Let's is gonna taste some. good. And then okay. they said, it's amazing. So let's try it. And of course, a big thank you to Gerardo Carvajal mm -hmm. with Mi Familia for sending this ice cream over. Oh my gosh, that is good. I like it. Again, the olive oil. Oh my gosh, that is good. It sort of adds to the creaminess of it. Yes. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's good. Oh wow. Do Alipa? Okay. Also has a new album coming out, but you knew that. Mm. Right? Oh, uh, 15th. Oh. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right. Our first guest is. Oh, that's uh, really good. Yes. Mm. For our first guest, cooking is all about her family. Together with her daughter, she wrote a cookbook based on her grandmother's and other family recipes. Uh, Fiesta in the Kitchen has everything from cocktails to breakfast and even some desserts. It's out now and even available at some local stores. Yes, Paola Lloyd, author of Fiesta in the Kitchen, is here with a recipe to help show you some love on Valentine's Day. Ah, nothing says Valentine's like chocolate, mm -hmm. right? Welcome, good to see you. Thank you, thanks for having me again. So what again are we making here? Okay, so we're gonna make a chocolate fondue with a little bit of a twist. Okay. So we're going to do our chocolate, and mm -hmm. you can do any kind of chocolate. You can do milk chocolate, dark chocolate, a combination of the two, 
And then we're going to add some caramel to make ooh, it special. Ooh, that sounds so, really good. Now, when we're talking chocolate, though, oh. it's not like chocolate chips. Right? No, you don't want to use chocolate chips. You want to use like baking chocolate that's pure chocolate, uh, something like either one of these. Because nothing things. with a lot of preservatives. N nothing in with. It for, I mean, that's right. Stuff in it Not what preserve. you would use right. to make your chocolate chip cookies. Oh, okay, right. and and they even have some of those like little melting discs in the little yes. containers in the baking section. Yes, those those are some okay. of those are candy melts okay. and not chocolate, but the ones that are true chocolate you can use. Okay. okay, and you were talking about double boiler is the best thing to use. Double boiler is the best thing to use. If you don't have one, just get a saucepan, fill it just about that much with water, and then put any bowl on top, and that's where you add your ingredients. All right. Let you that want melt. the water not to touch the pan. You want it to gently me melt your chocolate. Because if it gets in there, that's it. If it gets in there, you're done. Okay. <laughs> so we melted some chocolate, mm -hmm. transferred it over. And we did. Okay, and now the fun part. This is the dramatic <laughs> part of your valentines Ooh, thank you. we're gonna pour a little bit of 151 rum <gasps> on there and it has to be that strong so it'll light on fire and then th see there it yep, it's yep there it goes Ooh. there it is it there is. it is <laughs> and so you can really impress your valentine with this recipe Ooh, I like and you can it. let it completely burn off if you want to or you can let it completely burn off mm -hmm. and it'll eventually the flames will die out mm -hmm. or if you want it to go a little faster you can stir in uh you know oh, stir it in a spoon you always need to have a search and rescue for that purpose <laughs> right yes. so right now we haven't really melted it all the way but um and then mm. in the end you can also add some chopped pecans and they can either you can do chopped pecans you can do another type of nut if you prefer that or you could even do some like toffee pieces. That's oh, popular. Yes. And um, you can just pour them in there and then stir them in once your flames die down. Oh, that might leave them toast the pecans a little yes, bit. Yes, a little. it actually does. And let's talk about our dippers because oh, that's, that's a, a lot of fun too. What's your favorite thing to yeah. dip in chocolate? My everything? favorite are the classics, strawberries and bananas. But you know, this can be a dessert for your Valentine or for your family even, because kids love the marshmallows, the Oreos, lady fingers are another popular. I'm playing with fire, literally, so. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Okay. Uh, yes, lady fingers, cherries, we've got some Oreo cookies, another classic, marshmallows, and pretzels for a little bit of the sweet yes. and savory. Yes, if right? you are a sweet and savory kind mm -hmm. of person, then your pretzels are the perfect dipper. Wow, that 151, you gotta let that stuff burn off. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> all right, and all these recipes in, in your book, and you also have classes too, right? Yes, we do. We offer uh, small group cooking classes, mm -hmm. and uh, we would love for anybody to join us. Okay, and of course, gifts as well. Yes, we do have some gifts on our website that we pair with the book in case you wanna do a hostess gift. It makes a great hostess gift. Okay. Well, for more information on Fiesta in the Kitchen, just snap the QR code on your screen or just um, go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So we are talking chocolate. Yes, and if you're looking for more sweet recipes to show your love, scan that QR code right now and check out the Recipes tab on SALive.com. You can find lots of great ideas, including chocolate chip bar cookies and the chocolate fondue recipe you just saw. It's all on the Recipes tab on SALive.com. All right, our question. Yes, because all this chocolate, you know, got us thinking about our favorite kinds of chocolate. So what kind of chocolate is the best? Weigh in, scan that QR code, dark, milk, or white, and shockingly, milk yeah. chocolate is in the lead. Oh, what do you yeah. think? Hi. To say I'm with the lead. I I like sweets, so I'm gonna go with milk. milk chocolate. Okay. Okay. My but husband is a dark fan, but I'm a milk fan. Yeah, a little bit of red wine, dark chocolate. Yeah, uh, okay. good pairing. I like the way you think. Yes, yes. I think a lot of people would. Yes. Okay. And white chocolate's not getting too much, and that that's one of those where people are kind of like, yeah, on the white chocolate. So yeah, like white chocolate. All right. All right. All right, still ahead, I got all the gizmos and gadgets in, oh, can't even get this thing on, gizmos and gadgets in there. We're gonna plug it in and see if it works. Let's keep her fingers crossed. <laughs> Get ready 
time for a party, cowboys and cowgirls. The Vaquera Cook-Off and Music Festival is this weekend, and we get a special performance from one of the festival bands. That's next on SA Live. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, Western Heritage Weekend is happening all weekend long, starting Friday night. And joining us now is one of the performers you're going to be hearing. As a matter of fact, the performer from Friday night, Chase Martin. Good to see you, sir. I appreciate you guys having me. Thank you so much. I'm here to talk about the event that's happening on February 2nd, or from February 2nd to February 4th. It's a three-day event. It's really, really cool, and I get a chance to be a part of the opening day. Thank you very much. You are the man kicking it all off right here at Market Square. That's right. Market Square, it's going to be February 2nd. Second, right? That's the first day, February 2nd. We're kicking it off. It's a Jay Smartin band kicking it off. On that day, uh, we're going to be that, that first band in the evening and at night. Then after that, you're going to have a lot of really cool music, like on Saturday and Sunday. You're going to Ballet Folklorico. You're going to have dancers. You're going to have a bunch of artists popping in, you know, like a bunch of up and, you know, new up and comers and, and things like that. It, it's going to be really cool. And the great thing, too, is it's for the whole family because you got food, you got the Vicaro cook off That's on right. Saturday, everything else going on, right? Absolutely. It's a very, very, it's, it's a family friendly event. So bring the kids on out, have a good time. It, you know, Saturday's going to be all day, all evening. Uh, you got Sunday in the afternoon, you got Friday night. It, it's just going to be fun. That's wonderful. The song you're going to be doing now. So us. the song I'm doing now, it's called Because I Love You. It's going to be the new release off the Jay Spartan record coming out in about five or six weeks. So be on the lookout for that. <laughs> nice little plug. plug like shameless plug. <laughs> a wink and a nod right there with that one. And then after this weekend, where can folks find So it? we actually have a couple of days at the rodeo. We're going to be out there February 12th, mm -hmm. February 14th, and February 19th. So this is the first year that I get a chance to be at the SA Rodeo more than one time. We're always out of town, always out of the state. Where I never get a chance to be at home. So this is my chance to be here at home. That's Rodeo San Antonio. Once That's again, right. you can see this weekend at Market Square right during the Western Heritage Weekend event. For more information on Jay Smart, head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We have provided a link. Chase, take it away, sir. And of course, a big part of the Western Heritage Weekend is the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Fiona and I are going to be hosting, actually walking right in front of all those cattle, along with Jen as we make our way through downtown San Antonio. Our coverage starts at 11 a.m. on Saturday, February 3rd, powered by your San Antonio area Chevy dealer, so don't miss it. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, and if you need sweets for your sweet, we're going to tell you about a local bakery that really delivers.
And ditch the glasses and contacts this rodeo season and saddle up for better vision with a time efficient and life changing LASIK procedure. on your glasses or in your contacts if you get LASIK. And we have a deal that could save you hundreds. So listen up, because Richard Doinoff, Director of Operations with Manrique Custom Vision, joins us. And the procedure itself, so quick, so fast, it'll be done before you know it, right? Before we get done with this segment, it would be done. <laughs> it would be absolutely, done. Yep. Okay. In fact, it would already be done by the time I started talking. Just so about, yep. <laughs> for those who don't know, tell us about C-LASIK. Uh, Z-LASIK is performed by Dr. Manrique, of course, he's the key to this. It's totally blade and pain free um, and it's custom designed for each eye, which simply means that a lot of people have the same eyeglasses prescription, but this thing is so accurate that it tracks 500 points on your eye to make you see that much better once it's done. Okay, and so recovery, as we just mentioned, so quick too. Actually, if, uh, you just go home and sleep for a couple hours after the procedure, and most patients are, are done with it. But the most amazing thing is when you get up off the laser, you actually see immediately. It's awesome. And as far as nearsighted, farsighted, I mean, who? Who qualifies? Everything you just said, plus astigmatism. And a lot of people don't realize when they go over 40 um, and they start to go into reading glasses, whether they didn't have LASIK before or they did, we can usually help them with that too. And the number one place to go if you want to see what the patients have been saying is to social media, right? Absolutely. Social media and our Google reviews, I mean, they, they basically say it all. But, you know, Dr. Manrique, what I like to say about him is he's not just one of the only trainers in the U.S. for Z-LASIK, but he treats everybody the same, whether Fiona, Mike, it doesn't matter. You walk in there and he treats everybody like a superstar. Oh, I love it. And financing, you offer that as well. Absolutely. We still have up to 36 months interest free with your good credit and we can also use your medical span account and flexible span account. And a special deal for rodeo season. Absolutely. $1,500 off for qualified eyes like you have up there. And you can either call us, uh, there's going to be a QR code that pops up there of course, and then or you can text LASIK 245384. It's a great time to have it and rodeo starts in two weeks. You'll actually be able to go out starting tomorrow if you want to. You do the LASIK today. but. And the number one thing, we say it every time, but it is so true that you say the number one thing people tell you is, after they get it done, why didn't I do it sooner? I, I, uh, all my friends have done it, as you can imagine, but they always say that they wish they had done it. I mean, everybody says they wish they had done it sooner. All right, so you can call now to schedule your complimentary VIP consultation and get their early bird rodeo discount. That is up to $1,500 off for qualified eyes, and that number is 210-354-2020, or text LASIK to 45384. That's LASIK to 45384. Manrique Custom Vision Center is on La Cantera Parkway up on the northwest side. Richard, thank you so much. Thank you, Fiona. It's a sweet order for any of your sweets on Valentine's Day. We're going to tell you about a local bakery that has some seasonal items you don't want to miss out on. Valentine's Day is coming up fast, and our friend Shenda Guanya from Della Dose Bakery is here, and she is bringing treats to woo your sweetheart and your friends, your family, everyone. Because what we're looking at now, these are se se seasonal, right? Yes. For Valentine's yes. Day, anything with the red and the velvet and yes. the red velvet. <laughs> yes, for sure. And the gold, too. Because and the we're gonna gold. be fancy. <laughs> yes, yes, because we want to be fancy. So tell us what we have here. We have some fudgy brownies, Ooh. we have red velvet cookies, and we have red velvet cookie sandwiches as well, and the most delicious red velvet cinnamon roll. Ooh, okay, and so tell me, how did you get started into baking? I've always liked sweets, I've always loved food, and then, you know, after school, after like high school, I was like, oh, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm gonna go to nursing school or pastry school. That wasn't an option, so I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna be a nurse. Did that for like a little bit, then I was like, this is not for me. <laughs> uh -huh. I was not gifted in that department. So then I went to culinary school and just fell in love with baking. For and then sure. the pandemic hit, the, and yes. that's when you kind of really got started, right? Yes, I really got started. I was already working as a pastry chef, but then I was like, you know what? 
I have free time, everyone and their mom was at home. So I was like, yeah. hey, let's start this business. So then Della Dose was born. And then because before I was just making little sweet treats for like family members, friends. But then I was like, let me do my own thing. And people loved it and they keep coming back. So, I keep. so this right here is the red velvet cinnamon roll? Yes. Okay, and that, what is that topped with? Is that, that is a delicious cream cheese frosting <gasps> and little gold pearls. Oh my goodness. Love. That's <laughs> love, yes! Yeah. Okay, and so can we get a sneak peek on how that's put together? In my yes, we sure can. <laughs> So we did a little bit of the dusting, a little sprinkling of love, right? Yes. Okay, and now what? So now you're gonna get the rolling pin, you're gonna roll a big square or a rectangle. Roll a big square, wow. Good. So now, so now you're gonna get the schmear, you're gonna put the schmear on there. Okay, you just evenly all over it or just, just center? Just put a big glob and then you can use the gotcha. offset too. And that's enough, yep. Oh, yep. Okay. What's in the schmear? Uh, we got some brown sugar in there, some cinnamon, oh, yeah, some that. butter and some magic. So that's good, we can okay. call that good. Okay, good. And then now you can just start rolling it. So then now, mm -hmm. you're just gonna cut it into even pieces. Perfect, so now we're gonna get a sheet pan. And you're gonna put them on there, nope, face down, yep. Just like that. Yep. And we're gonna go proof these in the oven, okay. and then boom, we're gonna take them out and they'll be done. Ding! So boom, by TV Cinnamon Magic, Magic. And there they are. Okay, so now we're gonna oven. get some cream cheese frosting. Okay. And then, to finish it up, you're gonna dust it with some gold. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so I cannot wait to sample this. So yeah. while I'm doing that, tell folks about your website that just launched, yeah. right? Yeah, so I have a website that just launched and it's through my custom bakes and people can just make orders on there. Every Sunday, three Sundays out of the month, I'll be dropping like a few select items and customers can order from Sunday through Tuesday and then pickups and deliveries will happen every Friday. And so if they're ordering for Valentine's Day, they can do pickup, right? Yes, they sure can. And I will have a market on the 3rd of February that they can pick up at as well. And then if they need anything the following week, as always, they can just place that order. All right. Yes. Well, if you'd like to place your sweet order with Della Dosa Bakery, just head to our website, salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, coming up on SA Live, got all the parts back in here properly, I hope. We're gonna plug it in and see if it works, because. This is actually a computer that they use to make all the graphics for the show and stuff like that, so I blame him if anything went wrong. <laughs> all right, well, it is National Croissant Day. Feast your eyes on these freshly baked croissants try, from around town. Try that one. I want to see what that one is, because I want one of those. So see what that one is. Crack that baby up. Mm. I'm going to take a little bit here. I love their almond mm. ones there. Oh, that's the good. Okay. This stuff is next. <laughs> And don't forget uh, social question. Yes. Dark milk white. Yeah, milk is uh, that's close with dark white. Sorry, not not a whole lot of folks like Everybody that. Everybody loves the sweet chocolate. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you may not have heard, but today is National Croissant Day, and Bakery Lorraine sent these beauties over here. We've got the almond, the plain, the chocolate. This one, Fiona didn't dig in there deep enough. There's a little bit of like a lemon cream in there. Really, really tasty. They have four locations, Pearl, Medical Center, Rim, and the Museum. I didn't know they had one at the Museum. Stop by, get one there. I mean, any time of day, that is just so good. Those almond ones are just delectable. Hey, a few fun facts about this French pastry. Did you know it is not actually French? So it is thought to have originated in Austria. Legend says that Queen Marie Antoinette, who was from Vienna, Austria, introduced the croissant to France. Also, did you know they're not always crescent shaped? I didn't realize this one. In France in the 1920s, straight croissants were considered to be superior 
being made of all butter, the crescent-shaped ones were cheaper, made of margarine. How can you make one with margarine? Hey, it's gotta be butter. All right, hey, got a deal for you here. Our last fun fact, you can get a free croissant today at the French bakery, Cafe Le Madeleine. Guests receive a free butter croissant with any purchase by scanning the app in the cafe or placing an app on your online order. Don't miss your chance to snag the great freebie. And again, that is it, Le Madeleine. Oh, what a great day. All right, next, get the most out of your computer by building it yourself. I tried my hand at putting our KSET graphics department computer, yeah, that's when we actually use the graphics for this show, put it back together with some help from the experts. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it is a Try It Tuesday, and this is something I definitely have not tried to do before. That computer right there is actually one that our graphics department uses to make all of these great animations and graphics and everything like that. Well, the folks in the IT department took it all apart, and I was going to put it back together and get all the pieces in the right spot and tab slots and all this kind of stuff like that. I definitely learned a thing or two about how you can really customize a computer if you're really into graphics and stuff like that. So take a look. Well, of course, this day and age, you can't really live without a computer, which means you can't live without an IT guy. This is Stephen Shelby. He is one of our crack IT guys here at KSAT, and he is going to teach me on this Try It Tuesday how to build my own computer. It's a whole lot different than trying to use one. Why build your own computer? Basically, you're gonna be customizing. You're gonna go into the store, you're gonna say, hey, I want a new computer. They're gonna have what they have. This way, you're gonna get what you want. Now, as far as for most of us, it's a matter of sending emails, uh, you know, text, things like that, writing bills. That is my laptop and that's good enough. But this is really high tech for what? This is what you're gonna want if you're gonna do gaming or maybe some video editing if you're a photographer. So if one manufacturer has a good widget, you get that, and if another one has the best gizmo, you can combine those, right? Yes. And everything fits together sort of like plumbing parts. Different manufacturers, but everything is lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Exactly. Know. Okay. Most parts are gonna fit pretty seamless. So we've got the shell, and this is the case right here. Yes. And already in here, we've got the motherboard. Yes, sir. And then this doohickey, which kind of runs the whole show, right? That's gonna be your CPU. It's okay. already installed right now. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put what you got in oh. your hand right there. That is a uh, fan. Do you wanna plug it in first or screw it in first? Uh, we'll screw it in first. Okay. This is for what, gaming and like big graphics and things like that if you're really into that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, so this particular computer that we have is for our editing. Now, when it comes to memory, it's like, okay, I need all this memory and you know, for all, everything like that. And all of that is on, do I do this one next? Um, that's gonna be your memory to like, oh. that holds your memory, like your hard drive. This oh, is gonna yeah. be the memory that's gonna, you're gonna use. So like when you open up Windows, whenever you're doing multitasking, and like for this one, whenever okay. you're doing uh, video editing, they're, uh, these are gonna go in there. In there, okay, so I wanna yep. put these in here like yep. this. You wanna make sure they're lined up. There you go, one more. And one more like this. How difficult is it to learn all of this stuff? It really isn't, it's just, it can seem intimidating. I mean, you see all these parts, you see all this uh, okay. wires inside here. Yeah. It's intimidating, I would say, but, but it's really not. Something, you want something out, take this out, put it back in. Yes. Okay. What next? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put in memory, which the memory that is where all your files are stored. This is an SSD. It this, looks like a stick of gum almost, but. This, this little doohickey right here. Yes. How much can that hold? That particular one, 256 gigs. Okay. This is another example that we have. That, and it goes down like that. Yes, and there's and the little goes. flap you're going to turn. Okay. There you go. Ta -da. And saw it real easy. All right, okay. now we're ready for the basically the heart of everything, and that's this guy right here. That's your that's going to be your video card. Oh, good. Gee, there's a lot going on with this baby here. Yes, they and, are, and not one but three little fans. So yes. obviously, this thing generates a lot of heat. Where can where do you buy parts? like these things? Do you go to a store, you get them online? Yeah, you can do both. You can go to a store or you can shop online for them. 
uh, online would be the best because you're gonna see everyone. Uh, and this baby's going right it's there? It's gonna go, yes, right into here. Oh, in that So one. you're gonna okay. kinda line it up, make sure Wires in the way and stuff yeah. like that. Cable management is necessary, so Ooh. we're gonna make sure it's out of the way. You think it's in? No. <laughs> Let's see. Again. All right, and you're gonna kinda line it up. Oh. You hear that snap. <laughs> That's why he's the IT guy, <laughs> and I'm not. All right, oh, wow. and now that okay. that's uh, in there, we're gonna give it power. So we're gonna attach those to it. Uh, in order? Yes. Wait, there's lots of little doohickeys here. Oh, these go like this? Yes, sir. So this goes in here. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear them snap too. Oh, there's lots of different ones. Okay. Now can I turn it on? Uh, first, we gotta put the lid on. Oh, what? all right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Can we get everything back in place? It looks like it. Power button? Yes, sir. Okay, three, two. And Henry, if it doesn't work, you blame him. That's our graphics guy. Really, this is like an important computer around here, so. Thank you, Steven. Yeah, no problem, it was Can I get fun. my laptop work done now? Yeah, <laughs> let's go do it. It worked. It turned back on. A lot of help from that Steven and this Steven who's on camera right now as well, who's really into all the gaming and everything like that. And the funny thing was when we were shooting that story, Henry, who is our graphics artist, who does just a phenomenal job with all the graphics, was kind of coming into the, the room kind of going, no, I don't need it for about a half an hour. I don't need it for this time. He's looking at his computer in a million pieces right there. So anyway, whew, it worked. All right. Coming up tomorrow on SA Live, it's an African safari experience. We get an up close encounter with a baby. Oh, look at how cute that thing is, a baby rhino. How you can see this bouncing bundle of joy right here in South Texas. Plus, get your favorite recipes without any of the sugar. We have a cookbook author to show us how she changed her life with these zero sugar meals. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. Once again, our question of the day. Oh, wow. Dark chocolate just moved into the lead. Milk chocolate was in the lead for a while. So they are obviously neck and neck. And uh, in a distant third is white chocolate. But any chocolate's really good, isn't it? I mean, chocolate covered strawberries. You can do a chocolate croissant. And again, it is National Croissant Day. Thank you again, Bakery Lorraine, four locations around town for bringing us these little goodies. And don't forget at La Madeline, you can get a free bus on today with your purchase of other things out there. Had a great time today. We are gonna, don't take, well, okay, leave my, my this, this little bit right there. Okay.